2,000 people flown from all over the world at the premier event of our sport. It's the biggest powerlifting event ever held. The intensity on these lifters trying to steady their nerves, and that is not going to be an easy task in this environment. Some people get smaller when the pressure comes, some people get bigger. Listen to the crowd! 2,000 people going nuts. This is like a rock concert. This is absolutely incredible. A historic moment in powerlifting. And there is a warning shot. You knew it was a dicey move. Jesus Oliveras chasing history. Will we see a thousand pounds fall today? Can she pull herself into the number one spot? If anybody wants to see that. The biggest oh, deadlift in IPF history. Jesus Oliveras is the apex predator. And Gavin Aiden oh. with room to spare. Oh my God! <laughs> Sheffield will be back in 2024. Is this a movie or what? Welcome back to another session from Ron Witten, Greater London Powerlifting Championships. We have some exciting lifters queuing up for you today. First up, we have 92.5 on the bar with Rachel. Uh, oh, sorry, it, we just got changed. Ab Bulliman, 92.5 in the 84 plus category, attempting their first squat. Let's start this afternoon session with a blast. Right. And good day. 
And the judges say it's a great lift. Excellent first squat of the afternoon session. 100 on the bar for Emma Jones in the 84th class. Very nice opening to start with. Who are you supporting? Please let us know in the comments. Fire away. We want to hear from you. <laughs> really attacking the bar there from Emma. Approaching it with such ferocity. Giving us an indication of what her other lifts are probably going to look like. Matching the same energy. 4 p.m. on this Sunday, and it's an excellent lift. Three white lights. Next up, we've got Laura Boyd, 105, our first 76, coming in from British Barbell, and as you can imagine, is accompanied by Steve Sophia Ellis, GB National Treasure. Some knee pops there, but it's still a great lift from Laura. I'm a clicky lifter too. Everything clicks. I have to click my arms, my wrists, my knees several times a day. That's why I'm standing here in the fort. It's not a Bastille. It's not a marsh. It's a fort. Elizabeth Welburn with 107.5 on the bar in her home gym. Another 76 to add to a very stacked class. Some angry stomps there. Four. Very nice and upright. Beautiful lift. Referees, I definitely agree. Three white lights. Running off, looking a little bit puzzled. Eniola up next. The family and friends are all in the front row cheering Eniola on as they take 107.5. It's really so sweet to see. Wow, the speed on that. Like an absolute bullet. Referees agree, three white lights. Let's see that again, Eniola. Such a pass. Swatters can barely keep up. Let's see, up next. Seven point five on the bar as an eighty four. Like clockwork, absolutely brilliant. Open up. Start the session. Julia Herrera, so I next 110, 84 plus category. Let's go, Julia. Recognize Julia from some fort sessions. 
If you're interested, please come down for our powerlifting sessions. Julie has been asked to be a bit more rock upper and to lock their knees out in order to get the start command. These prerequisites need to be met within the next 30. Fail of failing the lift, Julia gets the squat command just in time. And that's a lovely lift. Did not phase her one bit. Well done, Julia. Did a great job. Cinder Johnson up next, 115 on the mark. Sinner getting cheers from the crowd. They amped up for their first lift. Good lift. Three white lights. Nicole Rodney, 120 open, 84 plus. I don't think they are in open. I don't want to make that assumption. But unfortunately, we don't have any other details about what age group that these lifters are all in. Nicole Rodney taking one thirty. Beautiful form, and that's three white lights. Accompanied by Robert Rodney, who competed for themselves yesterday. Don't want to assume any relation, but have a strong inkling that they might be. Next up, we have Liz Onan coming up now. Well, unfortunately, the scoreboard seems to be one ahead. Quickly try and rectify that. And that is a great lift from Liz. 
And the referees definitely agree. Liz was one of the volunteers here yesterday. Um, selfishly, self, selflessly volunteered her time, which should be relaxing, as we told her. But we are not the volunteers. So please, if you are interested in getting involved, of course, adding to the production value of today, then contact Greater London Powerlifting on Instagram to get involved. Now we have Lucy Gill, 132.5 on the bar, 84 kilos lifter, winging at 82.2. Lucy is a prominent trainer. really here to prove it that she's able to uh, compete with the open pass and that is a good lift, two to one. Very nice to go. Oh, 40 over the bar, as a 76. Second heaviest opener of this flight. Shows how it's done. Go yeah. Wow, such a wide and powerful stance. Really accelerated through that squat. Came off, acted like it was nothing, and it did look like it was nothing. Like just a warm up. And now we have Emily Dennis, 115. Uh, what about pluses? to our second squats now. He is on the bar for Rachel. a yeah, fraction yeah. away from being oh, dead.
That's a good lift for Laura. Excellent job there. Really, really good. Next we have Elizabeth Welber, 115. intensity that we are looking for it here today. Didn't look like depth was an issue in the last one. speed. Far too easy. I want to see how far she will push her last attempt. 
Once again, like a shotgun out of there with a analogies regarding guns. I don't know. I've never used one. Not even in Call of Duty. CSGO. Not my not my bag. Probably should refrain from that. But Juliet's up next, 120. Incredibly easy for Julia. Two to one. And that is an enormous PB on top of her last competition, which was quite a bit ago, but also at Greater London back in 2018. Or at least that's what Open IPF likes to say. It's nice to see that she's taken a while, some time off, and has decided to come back with a vengeance. Sinner now. With one, two, two, two point five. KG PB. Protein gets consumed in that household. This junior lifter is definitely one to watch. 130 moves just like that. This one in that one. next. Loaded for Miz, one for two point five. Belt buckled to the side. sitting down. This looks nice. Last time I saw Liz, she was dressed 
character from Demon Slayer, Shinobu, who is indeed Halloween, but it's not just her regular attire, which is a fun time at Buzz Cannon Street Gym. Lucy Gill, up next, 145. execution from Lucy as we've come to expect her at this point matching her PB on the squat she set earlier this year at the Greater London Spring Spectacular years as a junior. <laughs> Emily Dennis taking 160. And the referee says, good left. Well done, Emily. And we're back round to attempt number three. With a Rachel to start us off. Time really to deliver the focus. Focus all on Rachel in this moment. So calm. So collected. Thank you. 
gave it a bloody good go. Oh, I'm lucky this time. But Emma has another chance to see herself on bench and deadlift later today. We back round to the lovely Laura boys. Taking 120. That's all round for Laura. Not an ounce of struggle for Aniola, but unfortunately that was not quite deep enough. Still got a record for today, and there'll be another chance in the future, I'm sure, coming up the way. Being a sub-junior, there's so many more competitions to be had. That raw potential, just ball it up. And now we have EC with one two two point five. Julia. We have one three zero on board, 
Next up, we have Sinner Johnson, also attempting their third lift. 130 on the farm. 286.7 pounds. See what the judges think. Two to one, good lift. Very happy. Pat now taking one three five for a spin, just shy of three hundred pounds for our freedom units lovers. Bar is loaded for Pat. Do it for your fellow Hashira. I will refrain from that. Don't do it. 
Bar is loaded for Miriam. 152.5 on the bar. Second heaviest squat of this flight. Such a joy to watch Miriam lift. Five two will be a matched PB for this junior lifter. I don't think that was quite there. Oh, two to one. Two to one. Oh, yeah. Good lift. Thank you very much, brothers. We will start. I am mistaken. One ten on the bar, please. One ten on the bar, record fifteen. One ten on the bar, record fifteen. Oh, we're going to round two men. Sixty seconds. Let's quickly. Yeah. Colin, let's quickly. Tom, that's ready. Let's go. Keep that. You're up. Very good. But you gotta wait for the bar, brothers. First up, we are representing the 66s and we have Blast Beauty playing in Ghana. Bar is loaded. Bar is loaded. One ten. Just a note to remember to remove your thumb loops there for tightening your wrist wraps or for decorative purposes only. Not for use during the competition. Absolutely. Nailed that first lift. Bless. One ten. Very long legs. So we've got a long way to go in terms of the squat for combat in. One two. Tom Shevings next at one one two two point five and the men's seventy four. Thomas our first of the seventy fours. Beautiful depth, making it very clear for the referees what's what, and that is that it's good lift. <laughs> Dash Granite up next, possibly the most favourite name to say. Another, I'm, I'm, I think I'm safe to say it's a sub junior today. Children, 
finding powerlifting and becoming so good at it. Three way lights just really showing how it's done, accompanied by Jason Coleman today. It is no wonder that they are the master of powerlifting with lifts like that. Do you, hint of, uh, do you hear a hint of jealousy in my voice? Probably. We've got Joel Sibley up next with 140 on the bar, another junior. Being handled by Will Fleet, who competed yesterday. live from Fort as camera near Gatoha takes 155 as an 83. Making very easy work of that lift. Three white lights, judges agree. Go on, Jay. Julio, 
172.5 on the ball, accompanied by his girlfriend, Trisha, here today. Third competition ever. showing that we're all just very lazy, that you can truly be hybrid. Really shocking the crowd with how fast that was today. Samuel. Give yourself a round of applause when you're watching us at home. You well and truly deserve it. Accompanied by CJ Lindsay today. I feel like it is the bus Cannon Street massive as we have Satish doing the, the cross as he goes on. Any other rituals? I know him to be a very intense lifter, so I am very much looking forward to this today. Fist bumps all around. 190 on the bar. <laughs> Bring the fire. Bring the heat. Let's go. Come on, Ethan. Beautiful squat, just like in the gym. Referee say, oh, that was an angry belt flick. What a sassy, sassy man. He can't get no satisfaction. Last competed at the last one Witten Powerlifting Championships. I would dare say it was inferior to this one as there's no one else really. Um, me. Hi. 195. Let's make it look easy, Josh. Nearly thrown off balance with how fast he squatted that. 195, easy peasy. Complete It's very hard to impress Paul there. All I tried yesterday was trying to make him laugh. Bring a little joy. If you see him smirk, that is an illusion. He is up next with 200 on the bar. Of course, now that it's 200, we need a total of five spotters to ensure the health and safety of the lifter and everyone on the platform. Referee. 
waiting for the decision, and it's two to one. Good lift. Taiwo Ilo with two ten on the bar. For our fifty nine today. Falling over the crowd. Whoa. Do watch this 59 lift. Whoa. 210 with ease. Well wow. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal lifting there. We have the left arm in please. Two. Left arm in. Left arm in. Unfortunately, Taiwo's weight body weight is logged as seven um, at the moment, which might be slightly incorrect. This is 59 on this. Simon's here now. 212.5. Rocketed through that. As expected. Not the least bit shocked at how that worked. We're doing that rigor mortis waddle. As his legs are probably stuck straight. But now we have round two with less, once again, 115 on the bar. seconds left on did not phase him one bit he's hoping 17 seconds You go down, you come up. Bit of drama to the platform is probably well received. We've got Tom up next with 127.5. For his second squat, 74. He's lifting himself all shapes and sizes, showing that he can be any weight class, whatever size. Really, truly accessible is the sport of powerlifting. Quite a high bar position there for Tom. Very upright, it's almost like a weightlifter squat. Very quad dominant. Yeah. Very deep, like a weightlifter. 
three white lights. Beautiful. Next up, we have Dallas tonight. Don't take him for granted. Because he is coming at you with a 137.5 lift. That is 303 pounds here today. Jason Coltman is coaching him and handling him today. Around for handling juniors and sub juniors. Future of British powerlifting right here in this room. Nice chest and knees there. Really drive through. And three white lights for a dash. Still so incredibly fun to say. Like a superhero. Next up, we have Joel Sibley. 152.5 as a 74. Let's see you rooting for these juniors in the comments. So all the support you can get. Five on the bar. Let's see what the 74 can do. Cameron, also a possessor of very long legs, but still made that way. winner 
is here to accompany him. His time to shine, 182.5, 402 pounds. Let's shift some tin. Concentration on his face. Three white lights, Julio. Very good job, Dai. You did it. Proud of you. Jay, good job. 185. Jay was a very supportive friend yesterday, coming in to Fort to support his other fellow lifters. Today, it's all about him. 185. Let's show him what you're made of. of it than I have. Feet nice close and together. Perfected that workout. Nice and feel heavy. Excellent drive. Better than his first. Made a light work at 190. Ethan Satis. Satis action. Giving himself some slaps. Oh, the intensity is coming out. I am excited here. The drama, the fire, it's all happening at Fort. Someone call the fire marshal. Because Ethan Satter is about to take the bar. 205. This plate of light. <laughs> really concentrating. This lifter. Did he get depth? Cut. Judges say yes. He saunters off, as expected. Lift went exactly as he thought. Didn't even look at the score. Transfixed. Really, tunnel vision there. Joshua Chan, 207.5 on the bar. see some of that wonderful mobility again Josh let's go nice really stayed with it and get three white lights well done Josh bloody good job Squat moves so fast. 
Let's see if 212 will slow down at all. 12.5 kg jump. Give me a little jumping in from handling two spotting there. Right, right, yeah. oh, a brief pause. Was there any downward movement? Yeah. Judges say it's a good there. Right. Well done. Be very pleased with that. Next up we have Taiwo Ilo. Sporty Sui is still registered as seven, but for his class says 59. I'm not particularly good at assessing uh, people's body weight, but safe to say this is very impressive. It is indeed a 59 lifter, 217.5 for 80 pounds. The phones are out in the crowd. Spot like that, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Probably all him. <laughs> Hurtling into the lead there. Let's see. for our final round of sports. on the mark for our 66 lifter. Bless has got his wraps done up this time prior to lifting. There's no worries of the timer going out quickly. All right, it's loaded for Bless. Let's get this end the squat session well. considered high bar as far as power lifting is concerned. Probably weight lifting too. Any weight lifters want to comment on that? Please feel free to. Right, right, right. Absolutely easy. One, three, five. Probably could have clean injected after that. Dash, right. 
This will be a 5 kg PB on his Whoa. best comp squat. No, <laughs> and the referees. Where's the depth? Two to one. 
wonderful job. Display really stuck with it. Yeah. Referees say a great lift, three white lights. Be happy, Jay. work for this moment. Does he get it? Get up! <laughs> Wasn't scared for a moment there. One of the strongest hash I've ever met in my entire life. going wild for Ethan. Ethan punching himself in the face. Get that hype going. Ethan's starting a fight. It is with himself. But now the barbell. 212.5. These fists were made for bumping. Let's get it, Ethan. Courses through this man's body gets driving. Yeah. Gets the wreck on. What does the referee say? Yeah. Two to one. Good left. He's very pleased with that. Let's watch that replay. Gets it. Pushes through. He does indeed get that satisfaction. Still hear him from here. Deservedly so. Joshua Chan up next. A much calmer lift than Ethan. Oh, never mind. I'll take it back. 215 on the bar for Josh. Give us a performance, Josh. Rev that barbell. Gets 
it up. from the crowd for Simon's final lift. The phones, the cameras are out. Watch this spectacle. Come on, Simon. Oh, he doesn't quite have it today. Amazing. And a wonderful catch from the Lotus and the Spectre there. Did a wonderful performance today, Simon. You should be very proud of yourself. And we're coming to the end of our squat session. We've got there's some more bench for you coming up real yeah. soon. How yeah. soon? I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I'm exhausted and I need a break. See you later.
5,000 people flown from all over the world at the premier event of our sport. It's the biggest powerlifting event ever held. The intensity on these lifters trying to steady their nerves, and that is not going to be an easy task in this environment. Some people get smaller when the pressure comes, some people get bigger. Listen to the crowd! 2,000 people going nuts. This is like a rock concert. This is absolutely incredible. A historic moment in powerlifting. And there is a warning shot. You knew it was a dicey move. Jesus Olivares chasing history. Will we see a thousand pounds fall today? Can she pull herself into the number one spot? Everybody wants to see that. The biggest oh, deadlift in IPF history. Jesus Olivares is the apex predator. And Gavin Aiden oh. with room to spare. Oh my God! <laughs> Sheffield will be back nice. in 2024. Is this a movie or what? It's a bit like lifting weights in time of ten. Because the referee's going to tell you when to start, when to press the weight, and when to put it back. You know, this is all three. You also have to make sure your head stays on the bench, your your hips stay on the bench, your feet stay on the floor, and make sure your elbows come to down below your shoulders. So, this is more technical than this. Try to slow the weight down. But we're going to make sure we get a lot of support. We've got we're starting with 42 on the bar. This is where Rachel, I, I believe in. By Rachel will be someone else I can't see on the board. All right, we'll be Sina. And then after Sina will be Ayola. Uh, platform, are we ready? Uh, referees, are we ready? I heard yes from in that corner. All right, let's get started. Bar is loaded. Hello and welcome back. We are back in tune for our first lot of ventures. Rachel up first with 42.5 on the bar. Rachel having a phenomenal squat day with 100 already on the board. Let's add to that with this 42.5 bench. How's your break? What did you have? 
I had some pizza. It was delicious. I had about six Lewis's pizza, and that's a great lift. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. No oh, that is no lift, unfortunately. Uh, I see downward motion. And I Oh, uh, that was a mistake. Central lift. Central referee said if he came up, but the other two gave it a good lift. That was just a mistake on the board. Minor confusion there. Next up, we've got Sinner. 45 kg on the board. Accompanied by bench specialist Katie Roberts. Let's go, Sina. For those of you at home who don't know, there are three commands that bench comes down to, and that is start, press, and rack. So when the center ref deems it as okay for the to start, just like that, and press. And rack. Right, and that is a that good lift. Well there are certain conditions that need to be met in order for the seven. lifter to There are certain conditions that need to be met when it comes to those Martin commands. Lewis. Otherwise, the referee will not give you those commands. Eniola, after a wonderful oh. Swiss play, breaking the sub junior record in her squad attempts. Now taking 47.5. This sub junior has a lot to show us today about how it is deep done for all of us oldies out there. Press. Lovely press, push it right back. And rack. Those three white lights. As we mentioned earlier today, there are a few things that we're looking out for when it comes to the bench press, such as having the head down, feet down, bum down, and maintaining those three points of contact with the bench for it to be counted as a successful lift. Bar is loaded for Liz Ernan. 50 kg. Nice and easy. Let's go. Beautiful opener for Liz. Three white lights. Laura Boyd up next at 52.5. the rack to make sure that she's in position. Applies some leg drive as she takes out the bar. A nice soft touch of the bum to the bench. And nice press. Excellent job, Laura. Well Can we have same weight, please? Right eight. Same weight, right height eight for Julia Harada Tawali. Calling Julia will be Emma easy to get ready. Julia up next, fifty-two point five on the bar. Julia opting for a handout as you're more than permitted to ask for. Always worth being very specific with the bar handout. Fast 
not too easy. It was like a bunch of feathers for Julia there. 52.5 on the board. 52.5 for Emma Jones up next. Also opting for a handout. Pressure is on for Stephen Ashcroft. He lifted yesterday. Can he give a good handout? Great lift from Emma there. Opting for a close grip that is permitted within the maximum. AC up next with 52.5 as well. Popular opener. on the bar. Arms are set, set steady. Referee. Referee say good, good lift. Good lift. 52 on the bar, Lotto. 52 on the bar, round height 7. 52 on the bar, round height 7. This is Melbourne. Melbourne Elizabeth will be Marianne. Marianne, please be getting ready. Elizabeth Welburn next with 62.5. Bar is loaded. Oh, it's not loaded, sorry. Uh, no, it's this not quite loaded. Wait for the bar to be loaded first. <laughs> now the bar is loaded, you need a crush. Elizabeth adorning your nice smiley face on the back of her singlet there. For the fans. on Stephen to get the handouts right. Lucy Gill getting lovely depth from my view here. And the referees agree. The wonderful first lift, Lucy. Smile and nod. Knew that went down a tree. Nicole Rodney up next, seven kilos on the mark. Nicole and Robert Rodney. 
absolute dream team here today. Doesn't need a handout. Independent is Nicole. Cinco kilos on the bar for Patricia. Four plus left there. Uh, Emily has requested a uh, box for lifters. Just waiting to see if we have blocks for bench. Trying to find some blocks. Runner Paul off to get some twenty five points. I've just been informed that we have some technical difficulties on the deck here. Looking to continue to improve it. But unfortunately, the replay is no longer working. So unfortunately, you get one in one chance only in this live to watch these lifters lift. So you better be paying attention. It is within every lifter's right to request blocks for themselves if they feel like they definitely need it. I know being 5-1, I have contemplated it, but Luckily, I have very long legs for a short lifter. Thought I'd be considered tall in Asia, I like to tell myself. Repeatedly. Emily Dennis, 92.5. Close grip there. Three white lights, blocks in the trick. Go on, Emily. We are back round for attempt number two now, starting with Rachel. 47.5 on the bar. Changing up. I took a sip, sip of my drink. to expense Paul Marsh some strepsils later because my voice is shot. Bar is loaded for Rachel, 47.5. Tackling 42.5 with great ease earlier. Let's see how 47.5 moves.
And that's a good lift. Quite heavy on the chest there, but didn't face her one bit. Not the softest touch. Cinna Johnson showing us what 50 kilos looks like for her. As a 76 lifter, Eska Cinna. Opting for a handout. I personally don't enjoy a handout because there's so much variability between how people like to give them. I don't trust no one. We never will. Self-sufficient woman. I'm not saying that these women aren't self-sufficient. Just digging a hole. Sit up, let's go. 50 kilos on the board for Sina. Three white lights. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Eniola, our superstar sub junior. Really putting the rest of us to shame with her phenomenal squatting earlier. 52.5. Makes you really wish you get into the sport earlier, huh? Damn it, damn it. Damn it. Pushes it right back. Eniola gets the lift. Well done, Eniola. Good job. Liz Onan, my favorite Hashira. 55 kilos on the bar. Not just a demon slayer, a slayer of weights. is taking time. We're a bit off bath off there, but that was still a good lift. Well done, Liz. Very pleased with that. Emma Jones up next, take 55, out for a spin. How will she fare? Emma Jones, let's go. Bar is loaded. few 76s today. Laura should make quick work of this 57.5. Laura's got what it takes to take this 57.5 and make it hers. Lovely drive. Beautiful position. And up it goes. Referees agree. It's a three white lights. Very good job, Laura. We have got 57.5 on the bar for Julia. 
accompanied by Ariel today. We competed mostly yesterday. Fellow Fort member of Fortnite. Oh. And it shows because 57.5 is absolutely easy. Julia today, see how well the coaching comes across. Consider coming down to Fort, becoming a fort, 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 Fortitude, a Fortnite, a Fortress yourself. Portcullis. Let's go, EC. Also taking 57.5. Come on. 67.5. Same amount of intensity Elizabeth gives to the squads. Elizabeth gives to the bench. Cloud of chalk. She throws herself down onto the bench and into position. We love to see it here at Fort. Imperial March in the crowd, unfortunately, was not there today, Elizabeth. Take it again, maybe, Elizabeth? Miriam now taking 67.5. For their second. <laughs> Very quickly getting the press command there. Excellent work, Miriam. Textbook bench. Lucy Gill up next with our first red plate of this fight. It is absolutely amazing to see women bench so much. Alongside squatting and, and deadlifting, of course. But particularly in a world where we're often told to be smaller, on, more to more, we say, he heck it all, put on some muscle, load those red bad boys onto the bar, let's bench. Mind my language, heck. 75 kilos, let's go Lucy. Unable to see depth there, but referees say two to one. Good lift. Center ref falling again. Very tough to please this New Zealand. There's a Kiwi referee. Quite strict on the red light today and yesterday. Hopefully, Nicole Rodney can give us something that will give her white lights. Once again, Red plate on the bar. Oh. 
Silver rule is very ambiguous and it's incredibly hard to tell, especially when lifters opt to wear quite baggy t-shirts, but definitely it is a challenge. Not a challenge at all for Nicole though. Absolutely is that 75. Absolutely owned it. Pat up next. With 80 kilos on the bar. Let's go, Pat. Set up there. 80 kilos on the bar. Not quite there today. Next time, Pat, you got this. Next up, Emily Dennis, 100 kilos and the blocks. Bar is loaded for Emily Dennis. Hundred kilos. Heaviest bench of this session, and potentially this afternoon. Emily adorning a very close grip. Look at all that tricep power. Come on, Emily. Fight through the point. But hasn't quite got it. Not today. Good job, Emily. Thank you for trying. It's so beautiful to watch. Coming round to the third and final attempt on the bench. We've got Rachel out first with 50 kilos, asking for the blocks to be removed. Ample limb length for the touch to the floor. Not quite today, unlucky Rachel. Definitely more options, but still with a big smile on her face. Rachel comes away. 47.5. Next up, we have Sina Johnson, 52.5. Let's just do the same again. We'll be going six for six if Sina gets this.
what this 84 sub junior has in store for us later today with their deadlifts right now we've got 55 on the bar to close out the bench tents made quick work with that and that is three white lights very happy with herself as she should be mike is also incredibly pleased bar is loaded for liz Brilliant squat, brilliant bench. Is there anything she can't do? 57.5. Feet tucked quite back. Maintain that bench arch. Nice touch. Ah, just struggling to get it off the chest there. So Didn't have it. That's okay. It's not today. Something to workshop at the gym. Emma Jones up next with 57.5. Can she get this? Let's make it yours, Emma. Come on. Uh, really struggled to get it off the chest there, unfortunately. 60 on the bar for Nora Boyd. As our 76. Julia's ready. Take this moment and make it yours, Julia. 62.5. Gets depth. Gets the press. And is looking good. Referee say three white lights. Good job, Julia. We're staying with 62.5. Easy. Let's 
let's see what this 84 can do. If you ever wondered, Paul Marsh is indeed a San Pellegrino man. Taking this moment, really pushing through, sticking with it and getting three white lights. Amazing clip, Lucy. Elizabeth Welburn, show her, show us all what she can do. 67.5. Taking this again, I heard her earlier discussing whether to leave it, save it for Dennis, but given that she's got this in the bag. She can absolutely nail the 67 one as she has done it before. A little bit of self-belief goes a long way. Bring that intensity, Elizabeth. With that, that's a 5 kg PB for Miriam. What an absolute breeze she made that look. And next up, we have Lucy Gill, 80 kilos. With this, we'll be able to qualify for bench press nationals should Lucy want to. And of, of course, all England's given it 5% less than the nationals total, which is 4 kilos. So that's 76 kilo requirement for the all England bench press championships. Mats. Bar is loaded for Lucy. It's just a casual day out for Lucy on the bench. Let's go. Lucy definitely know what's up. 80 kilos. Seems to be a popular third and final attempt as we have two other lifters. Trying this after Lucy. Waiting for the start command. That's a long wait. Perhaps a little too long. Lucy doesn't quite get it today. And just a kilo short to qualify her for all England men's wrestling championships. Hopefully she'll get another chance to try again, or with the total, make it to national. Beat up the bar. Once again, 80 kilos. Let's make it yours, Pat. Let's go. You have got this. Believe. Believe. Uh, not quite there today, Pat, but definitely. 
my choice of winner for best bench setup I have ever seen. 80 kilos once again from Nicole Rodman. Showing the power that these juniors have is immense and we should all be scared. Maybe it's time to quit your full-time job and just concentrate on powerlifting just to keep up. My lifts barely keep up with inflation at this point. Nicole Rodney, hopefully showing us how 80 is done. Oh, and that is definitely how it is done. 80 kilos, just like that. Nicole Rodney, be very proud of yourself. That was an intense display of sheer willpower. It moved like a dream. See, de powerlifting definitely runs in this family. Emily Dennis up next with 100 kilos. Let's try this again, Emily. Hopefully you'll get it this time. is loaded for Emily Dennis. Are you excited? Can I get a woo woo? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For those of you not in the UK, it is now 6.38 p.m. on a Sunday. I need to go to bed soon. I need to go home because <laughs> I've got a job in the morning. But we are here. We are benching. <laughs> And Joel Sibley is up for 75 kilos for this 74 junior. How junior, I will not say because I don't know. It's safe to say they are definitely under 23. In case it's a Benjamin Button situation, I'm not sure. Head slightly coming off the bench there. What will the referees call it? Two to one, center ref definitely slower. Give the benefit of the doubt, the hair was definitely very long. Definitely a note to make for it later on, to see if they implement it. Tom Sheffing's up next, 75 kilos, also on the bar. One jammy dodger on the bar for Tom. but makes easy work of that 75. We are expecting some burst blood vessels today with the amount of pressure that these lifters are putting themselves through. A lot of red faces, 
as they grind through their lifts. Next up, we have Asib Ali with 92.5 on the bar, giving some last minute words of advice uh, before he gets onto the platform. Nice wolf whistle in the crowd. Nice set shoulders, big breath. Push up, right up. Three white lights for Julio. In my opinion, please feel free to contest me on that. We have 105 for this lifter here. Weighing in at 71 kilos. For my doing his due diligence, making sure that the thumb straps went on. Went on. Let's go. Can he keep it up with his bench?
having long hair it is really an annoyance for a bench or oh, all this really 117 moves like a dream great lift he is very happy with that Joshua Chan up next. One, two, two point five. A very competent squatter, but can he bench? That is the question. One, two, two point five. Two seventy pounds on the bar. Jay Hindocha up right. next. One, two, five on the bar. Two bad boys on the bar. What a sight to behold. That is a wonderful unwreck. Guess the start command. Oh, far too easy, Jay. And but it's two to, to one. Got, uh, on Due to right. hip lift, bump. Center ref said depth. Left ref said but. Better luck next time, Jay. But next we have Taiwo Hilo with 127.5. That would be insane. A galactic record, but it's 127.5 for this 59. Still incredibly impressive. Open bench press qualifier total is 107.5, so easily clearing this by 20 kilos. Not just a brilliant bench, but a brilliant bench or two. Crowd goes wild. So, the man with the performance, Ethan Savage. On his way to world domination. Bar is loaded. Ethan, you have to be very specific with your handout instructions, like a lover, otherwise, you won't get it right. Ethan is a paragon of intensity, really knows how to give a performance. Oh, bit of a wobble there, but quickly rectify that because that was smoking fast. Two to one, center ref said depth. Eagle eyes, nothing gets past this ref. Next up, Samuel Hay. Another hybrid lifter on the bar. 
really showing you can have it all if you just try hard enough. One, three, two point five. Move just like that. And the referees they give it two to one. Elbows need to be locked out. Let's see if we can implement it for the next lift and get that all three white lights. Let's watch that back. Ah, oh, yeah. See that elbow bend. Not quite entirely locked out on the replay there. Next up, we have Simon Zhu. 140 on the bar. Had the heaviest squat. Now, the heaviest bench opener. Is there anything this man can't do? We'll soon find out. Actually, no, we won't. It's weird. We'll see if how well he benches. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Blink and you'll miss it. That was so fast. Coming from Simon. <laughs> Tom Sheffings up again next, starting round two, 77.5. Spectators in the front row. Of course, we still have a whole bench session and deadlift session to go. If you feel like coming down to Elephant Castle, please do so. 10 pounds on the door for a spectator ticket. You get to see lifters like Tom bench pressing their heart out. Just a bit over body weight. Legs tucked back. Very high touch point. But it looks easy. 77.5 on the board for Tom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was a bit premature on that one, but he did indeed get it. Well done, Tom. Lovely depth. Here's a thing I didn't think I'd ever be saying about bench, but here we are in the year of 2023. Bar is loaded for Joel Sibley. 82.5. 182 pounds. Be a good sport and leave some lovely comments in the chat regarding Lifter's performance. Show them what the opener was meant to look like. We're starting to lose control there. The loaders took it off of him. Didn't wait for the start command. Basically, this is what divisionals are for. So lower pressure environment to, to really hone in those skills definitely something to practice in the gym before coming to competition is having a friend to tell you to wait for start press and rack. of course it's not always possible in the moment you can't really hear anything 100 kilos on the bar for his let's see what he does with it uh, i like to reset up 
which a lot of lifters aren't always very brave to do because there is only one minute with bench being so meticulous for technique. You really got to be sure. This is very low down the bench. Super close grip. But, oh, the strength is there. 100 kilos for Hasid. Two to one. Oh. That is rectified to two reds, which. Uh, two reds. That's no lift, unfortunately. Feet lift there. But Hasid has one more chance to make it right. If you kindly ask the referees, they will give you the feedback as to why they gave you a red line. And hopefully you can implement that change before your next move. Julio up next. 105. Let's see if he can go. Five for five. So you can save it for the third attempt. Better luck next time. Dash Renek, 74 kilo lifter. Something to consider for a lot of our lifters here. Feet quite close together. And the book, he's been asked to replace. Heels need to be down for starting the lift. Left and right referees will not give you the go until that has happened. And we've got 10 seconds on the clock. But he does have one more go at it. One ten. And now we have Ehers Overton. One two two point five on the bar. Decent 5 kg jump. At his heels. Down. Nice touch. And quite nicely pushed back. And that's 2 to 1. The sides of his feet came up according to the left referee. Decides to go up to one two seven. But now we have Josh. 
Joshua Chan, 1.30. Joshua Chan is indeed the man to take 1.30. Claim it as his own. Look at that dance. Right, right. Gosh, done. If anyone can, Joshua Chan can. Two to one. Good lift. Left right is being taken by Nick Strick on the heels there. Josh doesn't do too many steps. But now we have Jay and Gocha with 122.5 on the buff. Let's see if he can redeem himself. He has decided, elected to go up 7.5 kilos. This is a very risky maneuver, but if you have the self-belief, all the delusion to be able to go up, why the heck not? I believe Jay is strong enough to get this. It looked very good on his first lift. Not quite locked out. The heels need to be down. Luckily for him, the timer hasn't been going. So, who knows how much time he has left. Very, very bene uh, benefit of the doubt there. Let's hope he's within the minute countdown. Quite a low touch point, but he fights it. Gets the command. Referee say, two to one, good lift. Take it and run, Jay, take it and run. The crowd going absolutely wild for our 59 lifter today. Tyro, we see you. One, three, five on the bar. Bar is loaded. Time to shine. Absolutely sailing off to find the one piece because that was magnificent. Two to one. Didn't quite get depth on his left hand side, according to the center there. But nonetheless, that is a great day out for Ethan. Five for five thus far. Now we've got Samuel K. 
Will he become the next Hokage? Who knows? But what I do know is he has a very good chance of going 5 for 5 as well. 1 for 2.5. like lightning two to one elbows not quite locked down is it a mobility issue who knows maybe something to address later on in your training samuel but nonetheless you get five out of five that's fine simon now 150 going up 10 kilos in his previous attempt Whoever is at home watching and supporting Simon today, I hope you are very proud. This is an incredible feat. second attempt two to one red light for some left breath saying that his feet were coming up on the left hand side either way i'm still very proud of your side you take my approval and you run with it, sir. Tom Sheffings up next, 82.5 on the bar. Difficult to unrack from that position. High touch. Right, right. Oh. Amazing bench. 82.5. Three white lights. Eat my words. Works for him. Definitely, Tom. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm just silly commentator. Joel Sibley, 87.5. Now on the bar. 192 pounds for this. Junior lifter. Head down, bum down, feet down. Really driving into the bench there with his feet. Is he even old enough to own a license? I don't know. Come on, you've got this. Fight it. Joel not giving up. Not quite there today. Was a risk going up five kilos from his last ten, but surely it will pay off in the future. Bless really needs to get this lift now. 100 kilos on the bar. Stay in the game. He is our only 66 this afternoon. Let's give him our full support in the comments. making sure it's correctly loaded there. The loaders are going through a very time sensitive job. It requires a lot of focus. A lot of pressure. Bless you can do this. Wait for the commands. Feet down. 
head down, bum down, far up. All eyes on you. Feet slid out of position there. No. He regained himself. Yes. Oh, not quite there today. Yeah, you did an amazing job, guys. Yeah. Really tried your best. I do hope you continue yeah. with the deadlift. Make the most out of your day. Bang on 66 this morning. And is our only 66 lifter. It would have been a Shurin medal. Shurin medal? I don't know how that phrase goes. Hasib Ali, 100 kilos. Save me from embarrassing myself. Let's see what Hasib can do with this 100. Also, missing it on his last attempt. Not quite getting it, having to replace the bar. I think it's because his heels are still up. We have got 16 seconds. 16, 15. Quickly running out of time. You have got this, Hasib. You need to dig deep and get this. Such great job though, Hasib. setting a high standard for the day. We don't get any better unless we try to those standards. Julio now, 105 on the bar. got the determination. Can he deliver? Oh! Last chance to make it happen. Keep it with it. Not quite there today. Boji not quite in the position that he wanted. But that's okay. Very good luck. Okay. Cameron here. Better than one, ten. Let's get up the bench and open qualifying totals. Whether or not these men want to compete in the bench open. Totally. Totally up to you. But it's nice to know, I'm sure, either way. If Cameron is indeed a junior, I'm not entirely sure. This will be a great qualifying total for the under-23s bench nationals. Exactly bang on, 110. Let's see if he gets this. Really taking his time. A lot of lifters are afraid to use the full net. Cameron is not one of those lifters. Lovely, lovely. Keep going. Hits the rack. Doesn't bother him. Gets it up. And the referees say, two to one, good lift. Well done, Cameron. If you're within the ages of 18 to 23, that's a ticket to bench press nationals. I say ticket to, you still got to pay, unfortunately, but neither way, you're allowed to compete. Dash Granite up next, 115 on the bar for the 74 lifter. Wonderful, 
and wonderful display of strength there from the dash. 115, such a lightweight. Definitely qualifies him for a French press. Juniors. 74 juniors. Under, uh, 74 under 23. Qualifying total for a French press is 102.5. Easily cleared that. With even his first bench attempt. <laughs> Ihis Izakun up next, uh, 127.5 on the bar. Bar is loaded. Sliding a little bit there. A very long wait to get the start come on, but doesn't phase him one bit. Two to one, a good lift for Ihis Izakun. What a great run he's had, six for six. Brilliant job, wonderful pause made. Another contender for the six for six is Joshua Chan. 132.5, 292 pounds as an open 74. Scold my tongue with some tea. Is loaded for Joshua Chan. 132.5. Can he get this? Electing to go a sensible 2.5 increase. Is that the smallest increment that you can go in the sport of powerlifting? Unless you are indeed chipping a record. Breaking the record. Joshua Chan, fighting it, fighting it, doesn't have it today. Just lost position there. As he was starting to struggle, didn't have the time to be able to push it up. But better luck next time. Hi, what you know now with 135 on the bar. Our 59 lifter, whose body weight is apparently seven, is up next. A bit too much today. The bench only record for 59 sits at 150, but open uh, sits at 200.5. Currently taken by Lindsay Choi earlier this year. A little bit of more work for Taiwo, and he could probably take that bench only if he wanted to. Jay Hindocha up next. Would he have fixed his feet? 137.5. Jay has opting not to come out which you absolutely can do and save yourself for your lifts. 
course, you only really need one to stay on the board. So we're allowing for the clock to run out, to time out, so that the, lift, the other lifters in his flight can get the full rest that they deserve before we carry on. And that is it. No lift for Jay there, but that is strategic. So he is saving himself for deadlifts. That's all right. Build up that appetite for deadlifts, Jay. But now we have what sounds like a roundy bunch in the crowd cheering on Ethan. Somewhat of a lad's lad. Back slaps from Antoine there, really getting into the zone. Praise the sun. Silky smooth hand out from Paul Marsh. It's all down to you now, Ethan. Get this. <laughs> Saving himself for deadlifts, Dias decides not to push him. But his friends will welcome him into a warm embrace either way. A winner in their eyes. Samuel K up next, 150 on the bar. people would be absolutely reeling the money in for Samuel K. They do it for free. But he fought through it and up it goes. Referee say, oh, two to one, no lift, unfortunately. Not quite there. Soft, soft elbows. Gotta look it out. Some puzzle faces in the crowd. Simon up next. for the center for lifter.
coach for a while because I was cheating so hard at some deadlift. But your coworkers are going to be like, what's the deadlift? And you're going to have to explain it to them. That's all right. Let's make like Jennifer Lopez and let's get loud. It is deadlifts. Best lift of the day. Oh, I am hyped. We are so close to finishing. I want to go home. So late now. First up, we have Sinatra. Yes. 105 on the bar. I am hyped. Like work for Sinner there. One ten for any other. Oh, Sequoia. Spotter. Spotter. Bar is loaded. Conventional comes easy for this sub junior lifter. One ten, and the judges agree. Three white lights. On the board. As these first lifts start to populate, we'll start to see how the women stack up against each other. We'll start to see podiums and rankings. One, two, five on the bar for Laura. Two bad boys on the bar. Wow, conventional, conventional. That was far too easy for Laura Boyd. Come on, give us something a bit more challenging. Rachel next with one, two, five as well. Two baby bells on the bar. That's an excellent lift. And again, we are on the board for Rachel. Lucy Gay up next, our 84 lifter, taking 127.5 for a spin. Lucy Gill, absolutely fantastic. This is a deadlift, but it is giving me life. Emily Dennis up next with 130. Bar is loaded for Emily Dennis. Sumo is the choice for this 84 plus lifter. Wow. Sensational. Three white lights. I think this team might have caffeine in it. I am going to be up late tonight. So it's easy with all this adrenaline. One thirty on the bar. Okay. 
like it was nothing. One thirty. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Bears repeating. Emma Jones up next. One three five. Just shy of three hundred pounds for this eighty four lifter. Really milking every second to perfect that setup and perfect that setup she did with an astounding 140. Just double checking. Julia up next, 142.5. With a panic at the display on in the background. Wow, those are some outstanding pink socks. Window wipers and lift. Excellent technique there. Yeah. Pat, we have coming up. Patricia going one, four, five for their first attempt. We have Anakin filming in the crowd for the folks at home. Does he like sound? I'm not sure. But what I know is he's here to support the strong, the elusive Patricia Mayana. And that is a great lift. Three white lights. Miriam up next. 160 on the bar for this 76 lifter. Qualification total for juniors is 3.50. Miriam has already been two bucks, so we know full and well that she's able to do this. Oh, so efficient. Two to one. Lockout was the reason for that red light. Either way, 377.5 as it stands for Miriam. Elizabeth Welburn, next we've got 365 on the bar for her. Also a 76 lifter. Three eighty is what's needed to go to the British Classic Open. Yeah. Wow, and that's a good lift. And Elizabeth is on three four seven five. What a stellar deadlift that is. Bar is loaded for Liz. One 
Center as they take their second attempt. One, one, two point five. Wow. Like an elevator that went straight up. Eniola. Up next, any orders from PB is one two five. So we're just two point five kilos shy of that. That was done earlier this year at Jim Sharp British Junior Championships back in April. My brain is fried. I couldn't remember what month the fourth month was. One two two five for this very impressive sub-junior. Referees agree. Excellent lift. Quick pop scotch over the bar there. Laura Boyd up next. And Laura has been having a phenomenal day. Let's see if Laura can keep this up with 135 on the bar. Just shy of 300 pounds. This will be their eighth successful lift if they get it. How will Laura celebrate if she goes nine for nine? <laughs> Quality assurance on the platform here, making sure that all the plates are nice and tight. There will be no rattling around for these plates as our lifters take their attempts. Are 
are you getting platform envy this could definitely be you apply for the next great american power lifting competition here at fort it's friendly it's local if you live in london One three seven point five. Lucy Gill makes biscuits out of that. <laughs> Wonderful three white lights. Without a shadow of a doubt, had that in the bag. Emily Dennis up next. One forty on the bar. to smoke this weight and smoke it she does one five two just like that technically perfect julia one five five on the bar hoping for third place as our 84 plus lifter Julia to take one five five. Patricia up again, 157.5. Right. 
Like a rocket ship. What a wild ride. Miriam, how do you do it? Looking like first place in the 76s as a junior. With many more years in a junior, I'm sad to say, for the fellow 76 lifters out there. Definitely a triple threat. Liz, well burnt up next on 17.5. The stamps are back for the deadlifts. She gets the lift. Well done, Liz. Amazing effort there. And now this is where it's really heating up. Hold on to your hats. We are on to round three. This is where we'll be finding out who's in what place. They'll be really fighting for that podium. It's entirely independent to dependent on the lifter whether they're here to build the total or to get a nice shiny. Will definitely be the main indicator of their tactics today. Scrub a dub dub for Sina Johnson. Bar is loaded. Let's go, Sina. 120. So far, everything has been a piece of cake, a walk in the park, a bit of a picnic. <laughs> Pushing through, and a big smile on his face there. She gets it. Not celebrating prematurely, waiting for the lights, and then feeling triumphant coming off the platform. That is her day over. Aniola up next, our sub junior, really doing the rings around the open lifters. So much potential for someone so young. 
one thirty on the bar. Powerlifting career ahead of this lady. Laura Boyd up next. Now, Laura is one of the few athletes to be able to go nine for nine on this day today. It is seven, it's 8 p.m. doing the final deadlift. Let's see if Laura can muster up the strength to push through and claim that nine for nine as hers. 140. Rachel up next. Rachel Appleman, 140. The whoop whoops in the background to get them suitably hyped. Rachel, if successful, will stay in fourth place. Not a, even a sign of struggle there. Emily Dennis also taking 140. Rachel gave a great example of how it can be done. Emily Dennis now. Bar is loaded for Emily Dennis. Very much looks like first place is hers. Can she extend that lead? Really got to try. Good at supporting now. Unfortunately, that's no left. No pitching is allowed. It's going to be one swift motion up with no additional support of the legs. Definitely take it as a gym lift PB. Bar is loaded for Emma Jones. Not today, Emma, but valiant effort nonetheless. Lucy Gill to contend for second place, 147.5. As an 84 lifter. This will be a 5 kilo PB for Lucy if she gets this. But suitably, second place looks like it's very much hers for the moment. Today, handling her 
catering to all her handler needs. If it's successful, Easy will stay in third place. One four five is Easy's previous pump KB. Can she add five kilos to that? your moment. Take it with both hands. Preferably with both hands. And she drives it up. Bar is continuing. Locks it And the referee is saying, she quite right to do What a performance. We have got three more lifts, or four more lifts left for you today. And then we're rounding out women's flight. One, six, five. Let's see what you're made of. With this will be a 10 kg PB. Commonwealth year, all to play for. 
Miriam up next, 175. Has already got first place. Doesn't even need to do this. But in case she wants to, it's 175 on the bar. Three big baby bells, three jammy dodgers, three bad boys on the bar. Let's see it, Miriam. Second heaviest lift of this flight, Liz Walburn. Wasn't sure about this next attempt, but has an option to go with 7.5 increase. Really channeling the aggression, and we love it. Yes, Liz. Show them how it's done. Keep that position. Keep it, keep it, Clive. struggle was seen today by Tom. Excellent lifting. By far my favorite name to say, Dash Granite. What is he made of? We'll see with 147.5. Let's go, Dash. Go, son. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on, let's go. Finish. 
from Josh there. Confident nod. Who does it should? That's a man who knows how to open a shot. Next up we've got Jay with 210 on the bike. Four 
six two four six three pounds for Jay. Wow. Such efficiency. Unfortunately, he had some downward movement there, despite how fast it was. The referee is hard, hard to please today, but hopefully Jay takes that as constructive feedback, shakes it off and tries it again. He's not hurting now. Let's get ready for Ihiz Izakun. for Simon Zoo, 225. Four bad boys on the bar. Messing about yeah. here. Okay, then, do what you need to do. And that is two turns on the Sunday. Really has the audience's support. 240. Let's go. 529 pounds for the Swiss Tire Lifter. Really settling into place. Silence falls over the crowd. <laughs> Not quite there today. <laughs> but we, the last we have <laughs> two more chances to make it happen. So we can either opt to go with the same weight and show us how the open is supposed to move, or if he believes himself to be stronger than that, Let's can go. go up. Now we have Julio. Nella Mahanan, the Cabo. 2.40 on the bar. Wow. <laughs> really great then. Not even wearing a belt. How <laughs> 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 Kisses, crosses, hugs. Let's go. Really, 
milk that opening left there, holding up the top, showing that barbell who is boss here today. And already we are on round two with Tom Sheffings. Now that our lifters have done their first round of deadlifts, we can start to see the place placings on the scoreboard. If you'd like to follow along, of course you can go on to liftingcast.com forward slash meets forward slash MT. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> you can find it on Ron Greater London Powerlifting Ron Witten Memorial Championships. If you're resourceful. 150 on the bar. And it moves up and Referees agree. Three white lights for Tom. Good job, Tom. Dash, granite, next, one, five, five, on the bar. Jason Coltman seems to be a bit puzzled about the loading. Whilst they're sorting that out, you know, I think uh, powerlifters don't see themselves highly enough on like weightlifters. They uh, often set themselves a low bar. Okay, uh, <laughs> with that out of the way, it is now time for Dash to take his glory. Unfortunately, the scoreboard is incorrect. Dash pushing through to get those white lights that he needs to build that total. Joel Sibley up next with 162.5. They're just having to do quick maths because the board is incorrect. Don't ask me to do that. I am colorblind. Is my excuse. The board is now correct. The platform crew are tired and working effortlessly to deliver the quickest change possible. Joel Sibley now taking 162.5. Great work there. Really well, I waited a second because I wanted to make sure I've often been wrong on this live stream several times over the past two days. One eight five minutes now. I would be very happy with that. 
his hips through and the left day three white light made absolute mince meat of that weight great job Cameron Joshua Chen up next 222.5 Very nearly tripping up on the platform there. Nothing happened. Josh Chan. Yes, he can. Such a lovely sight to see. Just, just red bar, uh, red plates on the bar. It's incredibly titillating. Jay Hindocha. Two two five. What does the referee say? That Two so red lights down, down with motion. Got to lock it out. So, two, three, five, and four, and, and two, stay five, with it. There's a bit of a wobble there. Chance to ready. watch it back later and learn more next time. You might not like it, but every day is indeed a school day. He is, is a good Two three five at least in powerlifting. This is is a good two three five. Let's go. Knock it up. Nice. That was absolute minty. Oh that two three five. Was he even trying? I don't know. What I do know for certain is that he is in a good position for the seventh force. Looking to take perhaps a shiny medal today, but also shiny medal contender Simon Zhu with 240.
if he gets this, he will be forecasted second to 40. Lovely work there. Three wide lights for Simon Zoom. Sam, let's get this. It is all to play for us still. 240 on the bar. Really just storming off the platform, just, just to take a glance back, he knows what he's doing. This is his first rodeo, at least in the first day. I don't know if it's his first competition, find out after the probably in the post-con weekend. Taiwo, Hula having a great day. Now only 59, taking 250, showing the heavier weight classes, just how it's done. Needs us to get on the board. Has opted to go up 10 kilos from his opener. Time to get in the zone. Really have those blinders on. Taking off them for dry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that is how it's done. Two yeah. three, quarter of the time. Yeah. The crowd yeah. are going wild. Standing yeah. ovation. Yeah. second and third place in the 59 category. And now we have Julio Nalamapanan de Cabo. Let's do your family proud. Nine for nine day. Four dash. Spectacular lifting from the juniors today. Dash is no exception because he gets the lift. Referee say, oh my God. Very good. 
one big round of applause, please, for Tom Tepney. Tom, Tom up ready. next with 160. You might be thinking, you might not. Last lift, let's give it every ounce that we've got left. It is 8.40 p.m. and you've got one thing right. between you and victory. Three. And he gets it, 160, nine for nine for yet another lift. Joe Sibley, 170 on the bar. These juniors are really giving the open lifters a run for their money, giving them something to be afraid of. I'm not often afraid of juniors, but today I am. Sufficiently covered in the town. Come on, get up! Come on, get up! Come on, get up! Come on, really committing. Gently putting it down. Three white lights. A happy Joel Sibley. He is. We've got blessed. Nearly three times his body weight provided. I have no idea what his actual body weight is as it's still registered as oh no it's come it's changed to 66 okay fine it is 2.87 times his body weight if he gets this Two ten, looking like light work. Was that even a third attempt to see? Cameron Mir, Jagadha, two twenty on the bike. A 
number seems to be etched on two Cameron's singlet. Babes to bless his last lift. Smiley still is still there. Bar is loaded. He will jump up one place in the standings. For the 76s. No, sorry. Forty threes. Ripping grip, Cameron. Let's go. Absolutely needs to get this to get his score on the board. Otherwise, he is disqualified. To get this result into open idea, he needs to have at least one successful lift per lift. One squat, one bench, one deadlift. Will he make it today? Bar is loaded. Shake off. Everything else that has happened, and really hold on to that bar. Fix up, look sharp. Let's go, Jay. Just goes up, and it stays. And it's really right, like, I breathe a sigh of relief now, Jay. This one from the crowd. Josh Chan up next to see if he can follow. Okay, three for three on his deadlifts. Two, three, two point five. Well done. We're bringing it again. Well, that's what we signed it. ready. Let's see if Josh also has what it takes to take his third attempt. Let's see some aggression, Josh. Last chance to add to that total. Possibly the best socks. What? Oh, oh, a bit out of place, but he's not giving up until he gets scripted. Three red lights, unfortunately, there for Joshua. That is a 567.5 total for Joshua today. Next up, we have the man fighting for first place. It's Simon Zhu. He'll go from second to first with this attempt. 250, quarter of a ton. And nearly 9 p.m. This is my bedtime. I would love to be in bed by 10 when this is over. Highly unlikely. But Simon Zhu makes this deadlift and it'll be all worth it. Come on, Simon. Give them a show. Go. Yes. Oh. He gets the down the mud. Referee says three white lights. Wonderful effort there from Simon. He secures himself first place. But let's see what the others have to say about that. How will they respond? Last minute changes can be made for your final deadlift. Ihirs Izukun 255. Next up. Can he go 9 for 9? Yes. 
Catch the red light. Sorry, catch the white light. Night, night. What a performance. What a show. 600 toes for the 74 lifter. Let's see if that's enough to get him to national. Lifters still yet to lift. Hasn't quite got it today. That's all right. A valiant effort from Julio. Finishes on a five four two point five. As you might be able to hear. Ethan's not even up next, <laughs> but they're getting prematurely quite hype because it is time for Taiwo Ilo to come out. 272.5. And then comes Ethan Satish. <laughs> Can Ethan quell his hype just for one more lifter? It is Taiwo. Time to shine. has been corrected. He is indeed a 74 lifter. I am very bad at judging men's body weight. Come on, let's go. Silence falls over the crowd. Okay, right. the knees just a little too early fell out of position but great effort Tyrell celebrating 595 total the crowd goes absolutely wild Ethan now getting ready to rumble it's gonna start a riot let's get ready to rumble Ethan Satish taking the last lift of the day, trying to take himself a first place medal. I can confirm they are very nice and shiny, very heavy. And it is yours to take Ethan if you get this lift. Thoughts and prayers. Dig deep, Ethan. Last lift of the day. Magic fingers. Composed under. Amazing job, well done. And that concludes 
hour lifting for today. Maybe I will be able to make it in time for Ben at 10. That's been great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much to Greater London for having us today. Please send your lovely comments to the to the volunteers and lifters and Paul Marsh and Greater London Powerlifting on Instagram. Good night.
Thank you very much. Good night. Safe travels. Go home. Bye.